welcome to the Heartification Podcast, where I interview people on how art has affected their lives and what it means to them. Art has a very special place in my life. It not only makes me feel happy, but it allows me to make others feel special. This podcast is all about how art has made an impact on others' lives for all ages, all backgrounds, and all walks of life. You can find more about this podcast guest in my show notes. Without further ado, let's welcome my next guest. He is a very popular Colombian artist whose paintings have been sold worldwide. Please welcome my next guest, Carlos Delgado. Thank you, thank you for joining me this time and maybe part of your postcard. And uh, I'm here to, to answer any questions you have for me. Thank you. Yeah, so the first question I always ask is how do you define art? Art is the most beautiful expression that, the, the, that the we have, the human being have it in this world. I think art involves everything is about uh, uh, all these uh, interpretations of all this human expression and the way that the we, we feel something and we put it out there like music, like paintings, like drawings, like, like dancing, like uh, performing. It's the most uh, beautiful expression from the human being. And for me, that's art. Art is, is everything uh, above uh, love from the human being. I think art is very important from the beginning of the uh, humanity. And, um, and that for me, art is, 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 is the most important thing about, uh, from the human being. Yeah, definitely. And it's also a way to, that, that you can express yourself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And what inspired you to start painting? Well, um, some people say that they, I, 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 can't, I came to this world gifted, like with the talented and the skills to, to draw and, 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 and cash any image in my mind and, ca- and, and put it on a paper, on a, on a canvas. Um, when, I have like, when I was like two years, almost three years, all and my dad saw me uh, drawing a Christmas card. And he found it very fascinating how close uh, draw this this Christmas card, and I believe like the, all my life I knew that they have a, a the, the the talent to be an artist, but unfortunately for so many different situation and the maybe uh, bad head and, and the, when I was young uh, person I didn't have the access the, the capacity to access to uh, education with art, but um, but I think I found myself in the, in, in my life. I just already 10 years ago I started my career. I am almost 40. Uh, and, and, and I was doing a lot of stuff uh, when I was younger, between my 20s and 30s. But I think life pushed me to be an artist because I know I have a talent. Uh, but the point when I, I discovered that I'm an artist for reality when I started to express myself and create my own uh, art with my own technique. Yeah, that's amazing. And what inspired you to start painting faces? Uh, I think uh, when I started this process six, seven years ago, uh, trying to find myself and my, my profile like artist, I was really frustrated because I can't find what inspired me. I was doing a, a paintings a, using a reference like uh, pictures, making portraits, making like uh, landscapes. So many different stuff, and I didn't find myself. And uh, in that moment, uh, was a day that I was I was uh, going down to my studio. I have a little small studio, and here in downtown in Toronto. And I was I would start to look the people in the subway and the bus, and I was looking the people, and I was thinking, wow, what can be the story behind all these people? Uh, how they're feeling at the end of the day. They look tired. What is the story? They are from this country. They have family in other countries. Why? What is the purpose in this life? Where they are uh, going every day to war? And I, and I find a lot of expression and all that is static moments because when you go inside to the subway or something like that, the people are very uh, like like blank face, like very hard to define what happened with the people. But sometimes it's very interesting. And interesting find that the the, the people looking down, looking in the side, looking away, there's a lot of expression there. So I, 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 I find a lot of fascination of that, a big fascination of the faces of the people. 
And then I, I start to just catch all this situation happening in the public spaces, mostly the public trans, the transport. And I, I just start to create my portraits. But that was a long process, drawing a lot of frustration. But in the end, I find a lot of, I, I found myself also in that, in, in, in that portrait. And I create my own style, working in a, a couple of years, uh, finding my technique. Yeah, that's amazing. And so you talk about how when you paint faces, you focus on the subtle expressions of humans. So can you explain that? Um, I think that the, the human being is like unlimited uh, expressions all the time. And in any different, like it's on, on my portal, you can see like the same, uh, maybe sometimes you can see the same uh, expression of the face or the same movement. But in the end of the day, they're all different. And from that position, like, from all the different position of the face, you can explore uh, different expressions. So mostly I'm very focused in the reflection of nostalgic feelings, love, passion, um, sadness, memories. And I feel some of them are very connected with me because I can say that the, my 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 life wasn't easy um, from my 20s and 30s and maybe some frustration and memories i projected in my art also i am a, i am an immigrant living in canada and i have all my family in colombia and maybe uh, uh, i i can say that it wasn't easy for 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 our family and for me uh, uh, survive for a few years a lot of sacrifice and for me i i think i am very I'm very, uh, the people can feel my, also my soul in my paintings, but everything is very universal. It's like, you can see a face that there's nobody, but it's everybody in the same time. It's in any moment in the life that the people feel sad, feel nostalgic, feel happy. I don't paint that much happy people because I feel that the happiness is very easy to interpret it. If you see a happy pe person, like a smiling person, you know that he's happy for real, you know, or something good is in, in his mind. Probably I will do it soon, but I am very focused in mostly that dramatic situation of the, of the human being. Yeah, that's awesome. And are you able to not only show the expressions of humans, but also your feelings and what you're feeling? Yeah, I think, I, like I said before, I think my feelings are very connected with my paintings, you know? And, and sometimes the names of the paintings, sometimes the, 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 the moment that is passing, in my, like something is happening in my life in the moment, probably I projected in my art. I can say that I'm very, here in Canada, I mostly am all the time by myself in my studio. And, 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 and I think sometimes I feel nostalgic, sometimes I feel sad. And I projected all these feelings in my art. So a lot of them are, are, my, are myself. Yeah, and art is a really great way to just get all those emotions out and sort of just keeping it bottled inside. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and I, 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 I know that the, all of us, we have uh, traumas and, uh, and, and, um, and sad mem sadness and, mem and bad memories. But in a good way, nostalgic memories when you feel sometimes like sad but it's because you are re remember uh, some, something good that happened in your life like maybe your family a trip a, a vacation so uh, who knows it's a good moment in your life sometimes you project your the nostalgic wave is about love sometimes no sadness it's because you feel nostalgic because you love and you remember people that they impact in your life you know yeah that's great and you said that art has given you hope and courage in hard times. So can you give an, can you give me an example where art has helped you in a difficult situation? I I think when I moved to Canada ten years ago, I was trying to find myself, in a, a like you know for a new like a newcomer in any country, it's very hard to find his place, like a, get a job. And when I moved to Canada, I didn't speak English. And I didn't have the, I didn't, I never get educated about art, but I want to be an artist. So I, I was fighting very hard trying to define myself as an artist, but I have the conviction that I'm an artist from the beginning. I, I want to be an artist. I want to try to be one of the best artists and I want to keep fighting. And I was a lot of frustration because 
being an artist from the beginning, when you don't sell any painting, when you don't have, you, when you need pay rent, you need pay bills, we need to get food, was really hard. So in, a, in the more dramatic moments, art show out to, to show me that, that this is possible. In the hard moment, I, I saw a painting, I get a contract making a, 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 any mural of a, a commission of something happened good. So in the, in the, I, I had very dramatic times in the last six years that they, I was really uh, sad and frustrated about mostly my financial situation and, and art gave me the, the chance to have a good life here, give a good life to my people back home in Colombia. And also uh, the unbelievable happiness to, to show my art around the world. The hard moments when I was uh, the last year showing my art in a few countries in Europe, I was really happy and I almost like, like starting to cry because it was very emotional to know that the, all these fight, these years uh, made my life uh, uh, come, like, uh, ha- like find the happiness uh, by my art. So I have to say that the art gave me so, a lot of uh, moments and a lot of moments that I was very frustrated that I didn't have like the, any hope, uh, art showed me that it's possible to do it. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, so as we talked before, art is expressing yourself. So is there a difference between when you were going through a difficult time compared to like when you're happy? Is there a difference of, you know, colors or what you're painting Maybe. or any difference? You know, I think uh, I have to, that's a good question because I find myself like they, I have a lot of, in the moment that I was very frustrated, my art didn't, uh, have a fluidity, maybe the color wasn't good. Maybe I, I think that's very important to know that the in my people around me knows that they had to be in a really calm situation. I had to be calm. I had to be like stay positive because it's the way that they create. Uh, and when I am sad and I project something, I believe it's hard for me. Maybe R helped me to find the the the, 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 the to cross the bridge to stay positive. Sometimes when I sat and I'm working a piece, maybe that helped me to, to, to find the, the, the calm and the, the peace. But when I'm very positive, I'm very energetic, I'm very unhappy, I'm very like, uh, unstoppable. So art also is like a, 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 a way to heal in and find calm for me. So uh, in not so many different situations, if I'm happy, my art is good. And when I'm sad or frustrated, my art and my courage help me to, to go to the, to the positive situation. Yeah, that's amazing. And are you attracted to any particular art form that's not painting? Yes, absolutely. It's a lot of good artists. Like, I believe like the, the new uh, generation of artists are uh, very focused in the online market, like the Instagram and all that stuff. Like, I think I have my top 10 that's a good artist but i found it very i was uh, uh, like uh, respectful I, I had a lot of rest, respect and love for the world from the beginners like da vinci was an artist that they 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 had to do everything to create art like they had to send people to find the the powder in the in the in the in the land to to make the oils and a, and a, and uh, how they bring the, like the brushes, the materials to create, and how they made this beautiful study of all the human body, the animals, the landscape. I believe, I believe like artists like Da Vinci was an a, a icon and the big master, like other artists of, of us, like they, they're, they're star something that they bring us the the access to a lot of commodities that we can go just to the art store and find the brush, find the oil, find everything ready. It's very easy. So I respect a lot of their job from like the, like the master, masters and also how they work so hard to find them themselves, created, creating techniques. Um, also, I, I really love the job from uh, uh, Van Gogh and the use of his colors and the moment that they was really like already Da Vinci make art, create his style, and a lot of artists did it the same. So it was very, uh, that, in that moment was like priority, the, the classic art, but how the new artists came with the, like the, with the, 
like hungry to create something different. And, and Van Gogh came with these colorful paintings, different expressions. And, and also I, 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 that opened the door to the new artists to find a lot of possibilities that look out of the box. And I think that inspired me too. And from that point, I created my portrait, knowing that you don't have to go just straight. You can go in your own and create your own technique. And, 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 that, and, and that is very valuable for me too. So I am merely like in the age of uh, Da Vinci and also uh, Van Gogh and some few new artists that, that are exploring and doing a lot of good stuff, connecting the world and sharing a lot of art around the world. And, 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 and I think we, we were very important in this COVID situation. A lot of people were looking at art. We were a lot of artists were doing like live streaming, a lot of performance, so it was very important. So. Yeah, I admire a lot of artists and, and, and all the different um, expressions. Yeah, that's amazing. And even, like, as you were saying, it was so different, like, you know, 100 years ago, they had to actually go and get the powder, whereas now you just go to a store. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how there they're, they're was very, like, uh, hungry of, of knowledge and creativity and... and, and, and and, and the experimentation and, and that was really a big, uh, like big uh, challenge for them. They would make it very easy for us. That, I believe that. So when you were struggling as an artist, um, when was there a moment where you knew you were going to be successful? I think uh, that came from, uh, that came from, uh, it was a day that I was very, upset with what I, what I was creating. I was painting like for three months, four months, and every painting that I create, I destroy it. I just get a knife and I cut it and I throw it in the garbage. There was like a few months thinking about that. And it was a day that the, I was in my studio and I was uh, very frustrated. And I saw a blank canvas there and I said, this is so frustrating. I just was a palette with some colors and I get my brush and I splashes on the and I splash it and, and push the brush on the on the canvas and I was let it drip and let it like go around and I leave it just like that because I was so frustrated. The next day I saw this big like splash and all this painting dripping around and I think what I, I don't why I don't try to find something from here. I find a lot of uh, uh, drama and, and love from the drippings, the drips, and when I use the water, the water to touch the the, 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 the the acrylic in that moment, that creates some shadows. So I start to look to connect all these drips, and I start to create a body, like somebody going out of a, a muscle body going out of the canvas without head, just this part part with the legs, and then. Um, I create a beautiful composition about that. Also, that painting I sold it, one of the big first paintings that I sold it. But, but, but when I create this, and then I try, I, I start to do more and more like that. I, I keep exploring, exploring. And the most important moment was when I was, uh, I made a few of that pieces, and I say, uh, now, now what? How are we going to sell it? Uh, who's going to like this? How are I going to know that this is going to be workable? So I, I posted some of these paintings on online, in an online gallery in, based in the UK. And bloom, I, I few, uh, like a couple of weeks later, I saw a couple of them. And I said, wow, how, how something I, I just created from my mind is uh, so valuable. So that showed me that the, I finally I start to find my, my style and I find the value of uh, my work because is this about mostly find the appreciation of your work. But in the same time, somebody pay for it, it's amazing. So that was the moment. That was a very dramatic moment that there was, and, and from that, that was mostly a beginning. But I, from that point, I keep exploring for almost two years, dripping, scratching, drawing, using colors, doing this there and there. And still, I think we are, I, I feel so far away from, my, from what, I wanna, what I want to be. Probably I, I will never want to be full happy. I want to find the full happiness about my art because the art is about that, uh, that, uh, that consciously exploration. So, yeah, I think that was the moment.
So being an artist is really hard financially and on the business side. So what is your secret for success? I think I had it's a lot of things that you have to to have in your in your to know in this when you decide to be an artist. When I start to be an to when I decided that I want to be an artist, the first thing that I was sure that when somebody asked me what what did you do, I'm a painter and an artist, and I was very with a lot of com- a, a, a conviction that I like this is what I want to do with my life. But then I I uh, looking a lot of finding a lot of uh, like looking in the internet when uh, find, mostly like about how to sell art. I find a lot of answers like uh, online galleries and internet. Instagram is a powerful tool to to sell and to promote yourself. So in the beginning it was really hard because I was very focused in getting in touch with galleries. But uh, in the moment that I found that there's a lot of that I can do it my, by myself, uh, finding an online market, I, I create a good website, I, I, create, I organize all my social media. And from that point, I decided that, wow, this is something that I, I can do it from, uh, from uh, using the tools. Like the, I have a phone with internet and I can access to the uh, unlimited world. So, and, uh, and uh, also being very organized in the way to how to sell, how to promote yourself, how to talk with the people. When it's very important with somebody ask, access to ask you how much this painting you, you can say, hey, I, don't, I don't know. You have to say, no, this painting, this is the cause, blah, 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 blah. And make, make very secure that the, what, you, what you are doing, what you are selling. Because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's also a, my name also is a brand. It's a business too. So uh, we have to know that there is not just about, oh, I want to be an artist in paint. If you have like a, a good financial, if your parents or something can pay whatever for you, good. But in the end of the day, I have to say, but my own experience, there is no, is the, the more uh, grateful thing is like to know that the, you are selling also your art and living from your eye, art. Because when you go to the university to, to study arts, you are paying for the education. You are spending a lot of money for for rent and all these expenses and materials. So you have to find a way. It's not just to be in a teacher or just to be in with the gallery. It's, it's, it's also an unlimited market there. And, 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 and for me, I have to say that I'm good. I'm good finding a business with my, for my art, but also uh, I need to be more ordained with my financial expenses. <laughs> That's the secret. But in the end of the day, it's very, it's very good to know that, that you can do it. You can find it, um, like you realize that your phone is just not for a TikTok and other stuff. If you spend a half an hour taking a good picture of your art with your phone, posting on Instagram, posting on Facebook, promoving, uh, uploading in your website, it's, your, it's, a, it's a job too, you know? It's a job that you, you are doing there. And, and when you convince that, that this is a business too, maybe the way that the, the things come to you are, are, are going to be better. I'm six years already full-time artist, and I, I think I want to try to keep this for the rest of my life, but I don't, I don't see myself working for somebody. That's amazing. And how would you like people to get in touch with you? I, I think like um, the big portion of the people that approach to me is uh, via uh, Instagram or my email, uh, you know. And um, but the good thing about to work directly with the clients because. Sometimes when you work with the galleries, you don't have access to the collectors. But I really love the, fun, the fact to get in touch with the collectors, sell the pieces, and, and have the chance to know people. I have a lot of like, stories that I met. Uh, I, I have a client that they have a, this uh, collector that he came straight from Liverpool to pick up some paintings just to visit me here in Toronto. He came twice in, in the last three years. And we are good friends. I was in his home. Uh, uh, visiting, I have uh, friends. Uh, I have a lot of people that they get my art, and I have like the space to to to, to go anytime. So I really like the direct uh, connection. Sometimes I get the phone call, uh, talk with the clients. But a lot of people, a lot of people, I just never seen in my life. Just they ask me for art. 
uh, we made the deal and I ship it. Right? It's a lot of big percent that I will, I will love to get a year just to go around the world and meet people that they have my art. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing this. No, for me, it's a big pleasure. So I hope this, uh, you find this all, uh, something very interesting from this interview. And, you know, I'm here all the time. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Remember, if you want to find out more about this guest, please go to my show notes where I have all the links needed. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe to my podcast series and help me by sharing it, leaving a rating and a comment. I hope you join me on my next podcast. Bye for now.